Hey up troops, it's A Littleton here with another video on Don't touch that wall. On Cade, or is it Kaid or Cade or Kai Kaid or Kai I call him Cade. So Cade is a wall denial operator and he has a few advantages over Bandit and Mute. The main one being is that you can throw the claws either onto walls in places where they're away from Kali and Thatcher grenades, or you can even throw them up onto the ceiling where they can electrify hatches as well. The biggest and most important thing about this video is just knowing where to put those Cade claws. Too many times do we see someone play the Cade and all they'll do is just throw the claw at the wall directly in the middle and it gets taken off so easily or callied off the wall. Get creative where you put the Cade claws and make sure you keep them safe. Now, I normally say this at the end of the video, but I'm going to do it at the start of this time. Please sub to the channel, it helps me out loads, costs you absolutely nothing and it makes me day. Nice one. So just a quick idea of what we're going to go through, we're going to show various maps on where to put Cade Claws to keep them safe in some creative places. But I'm also going to start with the basics about what a Cade Claw does, how you can trick with a Cade Claw, and how you can put in places where it'll keep it safe from Kali and various other operators. So enough of me babbling on, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off super, super basic here. I don't know what you know about Cade already, but I'm going to show you some things. So Cade, unlike Bandit, doesn't have to throw his utility at the wall directly, for the wall to still be electrified. Quick example is I can throw this claw at the wall here and the area of effect there will still affect the reinforced wall, like so. By not having to put the claw directly on the wall, that means you can put claws safe from Kali lances and away from getting shot through walls by Maverick opening a line of sight and shooting the claw, you can put them in safer places. What you can do with a, a Cade claw is you can put it directly on the wall in the middle and the area of effect will actually get three walls. As you can see there, the wall goes down the middle and the area effect goes over each. So that's all three walls with one claw. There are certain areas of certain maps which I'll show you in this video where if there was a hatch above, for example, you could throw the claw save there and that would also get the hatch above as well. One of the main benefits about taking Cade over other walled and aisle operators such as Bandit or Mute is he can reinforce and electrify the hatch from below. So, we can put the claw directly on the hatch again, like we mentioned on the wall. However, you can also keep it safer using the area of effect by putting it just next to the hatch. So if we're playing Moto in Clubhouse and we put the claw there, we can see the area of effect will just get the corner of the hatch, which will mean the hatch is now electrified and safe from breaching. But using it in, in clever places like this will mean you can also then take the claw off and do what's called tricking the hatch or cade tricking. And we'll come on to that later in the video. So we're back on Clubhouse just so I can show you how to cage trick against the Kali. So I'll just put it in the middle of the wall just for demonstration purposes. What you're going to need to do with Kali is once she's fired the lance, it actually doesn't go off straight away. You will take a bit of damage, but you'll have just a second or, well, just less than a second to pick the cake claw back up and, and, and keep it safe. So you do take 5 HP damage, but I've still, as you can see down on the bottom right, I've still got 2 cage claws. Put it back on. Ready for the second claw to come in, and once it's electrified, here it comes. Pick that back up. So you can see the animation of picking it up. I took 6 HP damage then, weirdly. But you can see the animation of picking it up. Uh, sorry, 1 HP damage. I've had a mare. You can see the animation of picking it up is actually quicker than the lance going off. So you can cage trick that way if you want to. And then whilst we're on this site as well, I'll show you that putting the cave claw up here on the left, and then the same one that we talked about when we were showing Clubhouse, or I will show it later when we do Clubhouse, should I say, is down here. You can't quite see it through the floor, but if I go prone, you can just see it there, which you get by throwing in garage. Putting the claw there and there now makes this wall cali proof so if we lance the wall, both walls are still electrified. So it just goes to show, putting your Cade Claws in sensible places will keep the wall safer for longer. We're going to show you how to Cade Trick a Thatcher, so I'll just throw it in the middle of the wall for easy maths. So on it goes, we've got a Thatcher outside. What you've got to do is, as the you'll see the Thatcher glow at the bottom of the wall or above the wall where he's throwing it. As soon as the Thatcher nade goes off, or you can actually do it slightly beforehand if you want to, is take the claw off the wall and then pop it back on the wall post Thatcher nade going off, if that makes sense. So we'll do a demonstration now. Thatcher will throw his nade. Take that off. Pop it back on. And as soon as this activates again, regardless of when the Thatcher grenade went off, it'll, the wall will become uh, electrified again. Now, what you've got to be quick at, and the reason I try and keep an extra Cade Claw in my pocket if I'm playing against Thatcher, um, rather than putting both down at once, I'll go to the main wall that he's going to try and get. And you can actually overcome Thatcher by throwing, if you've got one claw down, as soon as the, the EMP grenade goes off, rather than picking this up and throwing it back down, if you've got another in your pocket, you can throw another on the wall, pick the one up that's been deactivated, and it's a bit faster than picking the same one up again. 
So what's going to happen now is the Thatcher outside will throw two EMPs at the wall. And I'll show you how you can overcome that with two claws. So the first one there is about to go off. Throw the other one down. Pick the one that's deactivated up. That's gone down. Pick that one up. And pick that one back up. Obviously in that time, if you're up against the Thermite, you can trick it. it the only thing you can't do is if Ace throws um, a Selma Charge at both panels of the wall, you're really going to struggle. But you can definitely trick a Thermite and a Habana. So we'll start with the first Cade placements for Clubhouse, and I think this is pretty much a classic, but I'll show you regardless. The first Cade Claw goes behind this wall up in the corner here to cover the wall there, as you can see. The second Cade Claw, you can either shoot out this TV and throw it in between the TVs right where my cursor is, or somewhere a little bit safer if you go below and shoot out the corner of the soft wall with your revolver, like so, and throw that right up into the corner there. It's then hidden also from bottom garage. If we go up, I'll show you. These two Cade Claws are completely um, free and safe from getting Kali lanced from the main wall. And as you can see, the Cade Claw on the left and the Cade Claw on the, light, uh, on the right, on the light, what the hell? On the right <laughs> means this wall is now fully electrified. What people don't know that much is you can actually retrieve this claw if you need to. If you get a call from a teammate playing rafters saying, you know, there's a Twitch drone coming or you see someone on the cam and they know the bottom uh, bottom garage there trying to get the claw off the wall, you can actually shoot the floor out just next to the shelf and you can see the claw from underneath and you can pick the claw up to keep you safe if you need to. We're now over on the jacuzzi wall at gym bedroom. What I'm not going to do in this video is show you every single reinforced wall and show you where the verticality is below. I'll leave you to find and explore that out because it's actually a really good way of learning the map. But I'll show you this just as an example. Almost every wall can be electrified from below, providing there is obviously a floor below. All you need to do is just ping the middle of the base of the wall, run downstairs, see where the, uh, the ping ends up. It's just behind the beam in this case, just there. You want to be this side of the wall. It's about there. And once the area of effect kicks in and we go upstairs, that wall will now be electrified. So it's a really good way of finding out the verticality of the maps. Obviously, this Cade Claw down here is going to be pretty tough to find. Anyone even pushing in from uh, from Strip and coming through bathroom, I mean, I barely even know it's there and I actually know it's there. So, you know, there are some really sneaky places you can keep the claws to keep them out of the way of, uh, of Cali Lances or from um, getting shot with a, a, a line of sight that Maverick's made as well. So we've talked about cage tricking. You know that now is where you remove the claw, allow the uh, the detonation of whether it's a Cali Lance or a breaching charge to go off. You pick the claw up, you put the claw back down post-explosion, and then keep the, the hatch or the wall electrified. There are various places on different sides you can do that, and I'll show you two on, on Clubhouse now. So the Moto hatch is a key part of the map, and Moto is a key part of the map when you're defending the basements on Clubhouse. If you can play in here, because this ceiling is solid, so you can play in here quite safely. The only place you've got to worry about is bottom main. You can throw the claw on the roof, ensuring obviously the area of effect just gets the corner of the hatch there. You can vault back up here, and if anyone's trying to trick the hatch um, with anything they want to try and do in moto, you can then pick the claw back up, take it off, and then throw it back when needed. It's as simple as that over here. Now, over in kitchen, it's a different story. You can do exactly the same thing, and I'll show you what's going on over there. It's much more dangerous in here because the entirety of kitchen floor is soft. So they can open up vertical angles and get you off these boxes to stop your cade tricking. But if they don't know they can do that and you're free to sit here for the entire round, throw the cade core in that sort of area there. I nearly threw it out of range then. I was going to have to re-record that clip. But I'm actually going to keep that in. <laughs> Mistakes do happen. So I actually managed to get that then, but that was just on the range. Probably just throw it to that red writing as a good reference point actually. Yeah, I've just learned something there. Go towards that red writing. That gets the uh, the hatch electrified. And if you hear someone's putting a breaching charge or they're putting a couple of X-Kairos pallets down the side of the hatch to break the uh, break the claw, pick it back up, let them go off, and then throw it back down on that red writing again. Obviously, be careful to blue door and dirt while you're doing it as well. We're upstairs in Oregon now, and you can get mad creative with this site. You can do the usual Cade on the roof to protect yourself from the Cali. But if you want to get creative, come around into Master. Do this and make sure there's no drones under there, obviously. If you go into the draw in, uh, in Master here, and you throw the Cade Claw into the draw, obviously it's pretty well hidden. You'll see from here the left-hand side of that wall is now electrified. If you want to do the right-hand side, this is even more crazy. Again, you've got to do this quite early on in the round before anyone gets uh, looking what you're doing. And you want to throw the claw under the roof on that lip of the sort of guttering, if you will. So, I mean, the, practice the lineup and you'll get it right. But if you get that under the roof there, 
as you can see there. That'll end up re uh, electrifying the right hand side of the wall. Now, I don't think it's mad obvious. I have tried this a few times in ranked and it's had varied success rates. I don't think it's crazy obvious, but you know, if someone is playing on that window, I think they're probably going to see it more, uh, more often than not. I just tried to repel as Cade then, by the way. We're still on Oregon. We're upstairs. And this one isn't very practical at all. Really, it's a, it's not a great way to use two cores just to secure attic. Um, especially when you can be countered by the map. But it is pretty cool, so I'll show you anyway. So to electrify the attic wall, if you come around a kid's window, you want to be getting this right in the corner over here. Um, aim for the sort of roof and then down a tad right in the corner. That's going to go over the corner there. Then I'm going to come over to satellite window at the top and main stairs. We're going to do exactly the same thing. So we want to be aiming for the corner there. A little bit higher up this time because it's a bit of a further throw. Right in the corner. If we go and have a look at uh, attic wall, this will now be electrified. Like I say, I don't think it's the best use of Cade Claws, but it's pretty cool to know. For an attic again, this is super, super simple. Just throw it up in the apex of the roof here. It's going to be safe from Cali. It'll do um, the range of the Cali Lance when it hits the wall. Still won't get that core up there. So super simple, but uh, one that's worth knowing. We're on Consulate. We're downstairs. And there's two ways you can play this as Cade. I personally like to throw it on the, the foot of the floor here, which will get all three walls by the, the area effect covering the, the two outside ones there. And then staying close to here, holding yellow stairs. Obviously, you need an ADS on the drone hole so you don't get grenaded. I shoot out the two windows here, like that, and then hold this angle if I need to. If I then hear a Cali or I hear a, uh, a Thatcher or whatever it might be outside, I'll come and play here. And as I want to hear it, I pick it up, as we've discussed with the tricking, throw it back down once I've heard that explosion go. Secondly, if you don't want a cage trick, if you've got to be somewhere else, it's fine. If you use your revolver to open two holes above each of the doors in line with where the two reinforcements meet, so just there and just here, again up in the soft wall above, you can actually throw the cage claws up onto the piano floor below. That'll just catch the top of the wall, but that will now be Cali proof, so to speak. Obviously, it won't be Thatcher proof, but if Cali tries to land this wall, she isn't going to be able to destroy the claws from the outside. We're still downstairs on Consulate, we're talking hatches. So again, much like Clubhouse, you can cage trick the hatches here. This is the circle desk hatch up in reception or lobby, whatever you want to call it. Again, you can get fruity on this hatch by cage tricking as and when you hear things going off. You can do exactly the same with the bathroom hatch here by vaulting up onto yellow pillar. Just watch yourself from yellow stairs from this angle. Obviously, you're safe from the breach while you're here. But you can do exactly the same here. Throw that onto the ceiling. Get fruity when you hear someone trying to get spicy with the, uh, with the hatch there. Whip it off the ceiling when you need to, and then whip it back on. Job done. So we're on Canal, everyone's favourite map. I actually really like Canal as a map, I, I don't mind it at all, but that's a story for another day. So, we're in box, we're upstairs, we've reinforced the two external walls and one of the left-hand side box walls. Two reasons, we can now hold a line of sight down to the green corridor and top top red stairs here. But you can also hold the, the way in through, through mud or through sauna or pipes or whatever you want to call this. Now, the, one of the beauties of this site is you can reinforce these three walls, sorry, electrify these three walls with one cave claw. You want to look for this snow or plaster or whatever on earth that is on the floor there. You want to look for the end of it here, and I've shot this, this blue tarp out just for reference so you can see. It's on the, the corner of the square here. You want it to go right between where I've shot that out there and the plaster on the floor. So right there. And as you'll see, you'll get this wall, this wall, and then just a slither of the third wall. But that's all three walls reinforced. You can then, obviously, whilst you're here, you can trick it if you hear the Cali or you hear the Mav or whatever. You can pick that up and put it back down. But playing this area here and keeping this wall safe, whilst also defending here, here, and top red, is so strong as Cade. Just a quick point on this site, much like Classroom on Oregon, I highly recommend you don't put the Cade Claw underneath for this one. Because you'll quite often have enemies and atta attackers, enemies, same thing, going underneath and trying to get the denial off from underneath. So if you put the claw underneath, it'll nine times out of ten get spotted by people trying to get the denial off from below. Just a quick one downstairs on canal now. I know you're probably very, very bored of me showing you how you can cage trick hatches. But anyway, you can vault up next to a hatch like this. You can cage trick here as well. So you put the cage claw on there on the ceiling. We've got the hatch electrified. Take it off when you need to and pop it back on when you need to. Again, be careful. All of this is soft. So you've got to be careful playing there. Um, don't destroy your own cable with a C4, but I'm just showing you, you know, if you're stood here and somebody uses a breaching charge on the floor, you're dead meat from here. So just be super aware and, uh, and conscious of that as well. Chalet top floor now, and I think this might be my favourite side to play Cade on. 
mainly because of the Cade placement, but also because of the site setup you can do with him. Now, a lot of people will reinforce this wall. However, I recommend you don't. I recommend you use Cade's revolver to make feet holes in there. Once this wall gets open, if it gets open after your exquisite Cade placement, you're going to come around to piano. You're going to always going to have someone playing piano. Obviously, watch piano window. But you can prevent the jump in, and you can see the easy plan behind half wall. If you don't do that, as soon as this wall gets opened at the back, the round is 99 times out of 100 essentially dead because the attackers have only got to come here while someone from the breach holds the door to office and the rotate, that's it. So always make these feet holes, but obviously don't just stand here because you're going to get domed from library. What else is good is attackers will generally sort of hang around the piano double area holding this kind of angle or holding this kind of angle or this angle from bathroom. If you've got this open, they can't just hang around there because at any moment you may swing there and, uh, and want at them, obviously. I can't want up, but you probably can. So, the cave claw placement on this side goes right up here in the middle of the rafter, in line with the two reinforcements, right there. It just catches the two walls, and this is actually Cali proof, which is sensational news. The amount of times I'm playing here, and you see an ash or a zof on the main door, or a sledge nading, or using ash charges underneath to get rid of what they think are bandit batteries. The floor blows up, and the electrification stays on the wall. It's an absolute momentous occasion. The same can be done here on solar side as well, so exactly the same situation. Throw it up there, and it's pretty much safe. The only thing you've got to worry about here is, bed, uh, is master window, but it's pretty much covered from there as well. Now when you're playing from here, there's two more tips I'm going to give you. Not necessarily about playing Cade, but just in terms of side setup. Be super careful about a Twitch drone coming underneath there and zapping your Cade. I've fallen foul of that a few times. However, this is a trick that I get a few kills from. I think I showed this on the mute side setup video, but I'll show you anyway. Look at the the, um, the cabinet, step out just a tad between these two white letters and make some holes in the floor. You can actually now see the front door. Now, you, you get the ash or the Zephyr just popping a hole in the front door there and trying to ash charge or Zephyr, impact grenade, the middle of the floor here to get the denial off. You, the angle from here, if I can tap open the barricade from here, will hold where they crouch and look through the, the punch barricade they've made so well. I've probably, I don't know how many kills I've got from here, but quite a few. Not millions, obviously, but just enough to make it worthwhile doing each round. Now, if you don't want to take the super easy spot that I just showed you up here, you can, I have seen some maniacs do this. This is mainly sort of pro league, so probably not our level, but hey, if you're from pro league and you're watching this, crack on. So, first one goes behind the fan on the wall here, like so. A little bit further to the right, my apologies. Just there, just so it catches the wall. The second one actually goes outside the site, but where it's hidden up behind this beam here. So up there. No attack is ever going to see that, unless they know it's there, obviously, by droning. But there's, uh, that's now fairly Cali-proof. Well, I'll say absolutely Cali-proof, but so is up there. So um, the only thing is that can be shot from below, whereas because that's above the drawers there, that can't be shot from below. So a um, different way of doing it. I personally prefer just putting it up there, but that's up to you how you want to do it. We're onto Cafe, and this is the classic top red wall here that you want to reinforce and defend uh, Piano from the red hatch on the top of red stairs. So you see the ping there. It's in line with the wall below, actually. You've got this wall here and this wall here, which is in line. To ping the middle of the wall, just give yourself a bit of a reference. And when you come below, you'll see where it is. Just in line here. Now, what you can do is shoot out a bit of the floor and throw that right up at the top there. And that's the double wall at the top red in, in uh, Electrified. Okay, we're on Cafe Downstairs now, and this one's a really useful claw. So you can actually get both walls and the hatch with one claw. Now, I've marked a mark in the ceiling there, which roughly where I think it is. The good thing about this claw is if you get it wrong, you actually get another try to, uh, to get it right, because you can shoot the claw down if you don't quite get it. So I'm going to go with about there. I think that's going to get it. So you can see it gets the hatch, it gets the wall, and it gets that wall. So that's all three done. Now, if you do miss and you don't quite get the right angle, I mean, line it up, it's middle of the wall, step to the right a bit and come back a bit, and that's where you want to look. If you double tap the ceiling with your with your uh, revolver once, you can pick the claw up and you can have another go. Um, so yeah, you know where it is now, just, uh, just try and get it right first time. I actually missed that one there. <laughs> that is because the ceiling's now higher, by the way, I will just, uh, will just say that. We're still downstairs on cafe now, we're on the bakery wall. This is a classic case of being sensible and clever when you're playing Cade. You can just throw it on the wall like this and it works perfectly. However, it can be shot from above with the right angle. It can easily be taken care of. If you're sensible with your Cade claw and you think about where you're placing it, if you place it up in the corner here, one, it's going to be Cali proof from the middle of the wall. And two, if anyone's above trying to find the claw, there's not a single angle you can get to get rid of that claw from upstairs. 
So just try and think about where you place them a little bit more. But that I really like that one because it's so simple yet so effective. We're on to Villa and we're upstairs in Aviator and Bar. Now there's a couple around this area that I'll show you. One I think which is quite funny is you can get both of these walls by throwing it on the plane wing. As you can see there, this will obviously be Cali proof. You've just got to watch out from, uh, from top red or zombie door. Maybe you want to call that because it's fairly obvious once you're there. However, one that's a pretty cool trick here actually is if you throw your Cade Claw onto this wall here, so it's completely Cali proof from the other side of the wall, it's going to get this half of the wall. What you can do then, and I've seen a few people do this over the over the course of time, is you can then play the sort of Cade trick, if you will, here. So most people are going to try and open this wall. This is the wall they're going to want to come into and plant behind the bar. That's sort of the default idea. Now, you can disrupt that by putting your cave ball right in the middle of this wall. So that's going to get some of the wall there. A bit more to the left, sorry. It's going to get some of this wall. And you see how it's just gone round the corner of the wood here? That means it's going to get the wall on the other side as well. So that's going to get the right-hand wall, which you can see there. Now, what you can do then is cage trick, as we talked about earlier on in the video. So you can take the claw off, wait for the Cali charge to go off, or wait for the Thatcher grenade to go off, bang it back on. Again, we've got that wall. It goes over the wood here, so that's the wall on the other side. The whole time, you don't have to worry about the far right-hand side of, uh, of the other wall, because that's going to be protected from the one we put in the cabinet. But again, put it on and take it off as many times as required. Okay, we're on to Villa on Static Tree now. The triple wall that's the other side of Master. And you can get this with two um, claws that go right above the wooden beam here. So if you throw the first one up there, you'll see it just catches the wall. The same one in line with the other reinforcement just catches the wall. And that's all three walls reinforced, which are Cali proof and relatively safe from downstairs because of the beam that's underneath them. There is a slight angle like you can get them at or you can get an angle to destroy them from downstairs. But it's a very, very tight angle. We're on to border, top four on uh, armory lockers here, and we can look after the main wall from below as well. This is also a really good cade spot because it's not often found. And uh, not many attackers are going to go through this area of the map, really. They might come through jail here, but this area of the map here and supply is, is not really used. So what you want to do is come to below and supply. You want to be aiming in this sort of area here, sort of between the pipe and the, uh, the wall. Just throw it right up there like this. We'll nip back upstairs. Get your pistol out, okay, let's uh, jog a little bit faster, pal. When we get up here, I'm really hoping this is electrified, otherwise it's going to be super awkward. Job done. Hey, we're over in Archives now, and it's the classic East take on Border, which is becoming more and more popular. This one, much like the Cafe one, is pretty simple, but it's effective. So the best thing to do here is put the claw on the wall next to the filing cabinet, quite low down as well, as low down as you can, really. I mean, you could destroy these boxes, but there will do. Now, you're going to need an ADS or a one eye magnet. If there's an ADS, you don't need to worry about where you put it, as long as it's in range of the top of here, obviously. If it's a one eye magnet, make sure you put the one eye magnet up here. And the reason I say that is because the one eye magnet will still make the grenade explode once it's caught it. So if you put your one eye magnet here and your claw there, the grenade will still destroy the claw. So put your one eye magnet out the way, so when the grenade goes off, your claw is still safe down here. Obviously, with the ADS, it's going to destroy the grenade and like zap it anyway. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Also, with this claw here, it's Cali proof. You do quite often see a, a Cali plane from the East Balk window there, trying to hold it once it's breached, hold a long angle right through armory. But with that being there, it's safe. Put a one eye magnet or an ADS around here as well, and you should be safe from the archive side of the things. So there we have it. That sums everything up in terms of the maps I've looked at so far. Now, there are other maps that I haven't touched on there where you can put Cade Claws in uh, and exciting and, and spicy places, but we're not going to go through every map. So just use that as a bit of like guidance and, and adapt that to whichever map it is that you're playing. As I said at the start of the video, if you can sub to the channel, like, comment, whatever you want to do, I really appreciate it. I also stream on Twitch four days a week, so come and give us a follow over there if you want to. The socials are down in the corner. If there's any other aspect of Siege that you might want a bit of a hand with or some tips on or a particular operator, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that one next as well. But that's it from me for this time and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.